Hey there, I'm Danny and welcome back to Pista Peaks. Today we are at Looking Glass and we're getting ready to climb the womb. Let's go check it out. Okay, so yeah, there's the sperm. The womb goes up that slab, follows a crack to the alcove and out the roof there. All right, so I've scattered it out and it is wet, but it looks like it is dry enough for me to climb it. So I'm just getting racked up. I got my anchor belt on that tree there. I tried to do something a little different. I did several wraps back a changing direction back and forth try, try to make sure that if uh, I fell because it's going to pull an upwards motion that hopefully it just cinches down on the tree and doesn't roll the rope so I'm going to get racked up here and get ready I got my rope flaked I have slip knots every two to three arm lengths in the rope as a backup and I'm going to string the first two pitches together um, just try to get that slab over I would like to mention even though I Ran into some friends down there, and I got service on my phone. I do have a Garmin on me. If I get in real bad trouble, I can't hit that SOS button. Hopefully, I'll never have to use it, but I do have it as a backup. All right, I'm completely set up. I got a knot in the end of the rope. I got backup slip knots every two to three arm lengths, so every 10 to 15 feet. I have my anchor built around this tree. It's going to pull up kind of in that direction. I'm Tested it out. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm sure there's better ways to do it, but I feel pretty comfortable with that. And my Grigri -gri is locked on my belay loop with a quick link. I got the slack, the dead end of the rope, attached to a micro. It pulls up. Grigri -gri locks on the anchor end. Quick link's good to go. So let's give this thing a run. <sighs> Screw it. I will go this way. I looked down and found a foot. Found that was completely necessary. I'm going to plug this thing up with a lot of gear. Because I have every bit of a double rack, even triples and some small finger sizes. So I'm going to protect the hell out of this thing. I do not feel as confident on slabs as I wish I could. That is a solid piece. There we go. Let's get out of that moss. It is definitely wet. We gotta be careful. Come on. Get some more slack. How are we doing? Keep an eye on the rope down there. Make sure we're not back feeding too much because I don't have any knots to keep the rope from back feeding. Oh, I don't want to step in that water, but I need to. There we go. Keep me off the deck. So I think we pull up river. This boulder right here. We don't really have any feet, so I think we're gonna have to just muscle up. <laughs> Come on, boy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that was scary. That was a mother pulling over that. Let's be careful now. I'm a little pumped from flailing so much. Let's get a piece. Above that roof, 
because I do not, do not want to pull that roof again. Oh my good God. Oh, that was rough. I like to put my grigri inverted, but I put it right side up so it's not feeding as well. There we go. To keep the rope from back feeding and making a pile on the ground, we clove, not clove, slip knot to that. This route is very wet. It's okay, I got a good foot. Oh, it is soaking wet. There's a good foot. There's a decent hand jump. Come on. Come on, don't let you out. Oh, good God. Come on. My feet just keep skating off. Don't get your foot behind the rope, Danny. All right. I was gonna put a cam in, but be good, Jones. Good feet, comfortable climbing, slip knot out. There we go. All right, we're safe. See that? See his feet just skating off the rock? I mean, I don't have the best shoes on right now. I got some Evolve Defies. Rubber's not good on them. Combine that with the slick, wet rock. Really doesn't help me. Oh, you don't want to stand up. All right, I'm gonna dump this for rocks a little. Oh, that was a solid hand jam right there. Oh, I say solid. It was a good one. Foot stuck. Where's my feet? Oh, they don't exist. Okay. Oh, that move was chill. I was scared for nothing. I do want to put another cam in. I don't fully trust that nut I stuck in there. It 
It feeds so much better upside down. So much better. I just wasn't thinking. Finger lock. Finger lock, come on. Come on, fingers. This next section is probably gonna whoop my ass. This is all wet. That's all wet. I gotta get to those two bolts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm moving too slow and the battery died on my camera. So I'm not far from the anchor. I'm gonna finish this thing out. I'll get the camera back on charge, let it charge up, and then uh, we'll get some video of the next pitch. So, probably about 20 feet to go to the anchors. Let me, right here. So, I'm on this cam. I gotta run up this wet section to get to right there. And then I can run it up to the top. I wanna get to those anchors so bad. I wanna get out of this wet stuff. Okay, right. I made it across, hard to get it in picture, across this traverse. That was, Jesus Christ, that was difficult. I, I even threw a sling on that cam in case I felt I could use it to pull back up. But I had to trust some really wet and mossy feet, mantle up, and across, grab the rat, grab this. And now I'm standing on this, catching my breath. I was not expecting to struggle this bad, but that was a hard move. Now I just gotta make it up, still about 20 feet, but straight up this corner to the bolts. Well, I climbed up. There's where we last checked in. I got a piece in the corner here. Uh, getting ready to go up this wet corner. It's gonna be rough. I'm gonna slip and slide. <sighs> Haven't really whipped yet. Slipped earlier, but caught myself. Might fall here. This is like literally dripping. So yeah, got the piece in. I'm doing a really painful split <laughs> and like look at it, it's just it's literally dripping but I think the holes are good enough I can muscle through it I did it I made it to the bolts sorry I can't flip the camera on oh, I wish you could have seen it I wish the, the one on my helmet was recording I was the water was literally raining off of me. It was uh, sticking my hands in the cracks and fist jamming and hand jamming and the water's just running down my arms. I don't know how well you can see, but I am soaking wet. But I'm at the anchors, so I'm gonna take a break. And I'm gonna look and see if it makes sense to try to pull the roof and run it to the top because I'm looking at it, it looks wet. And that one's supposed to be harder. I don't know, I struggled really bad on that. So, I'm looking at it. It's wet, but I might as well give it a run. At least give it a try. I might just have to eat through some sections. But, I got my anchor built on two bolts. And I'm getting ready to wrap down and clean this thing. Not sure how I'm going to get back up. I got Jumar, so I might just jug back up it instead of trying to follow it. That might be easier. And here is the last section i climbed leading up to the anchor so i got two cams and i sling that horn which scares me a bit because it's barely wedged in there but i needed something to like get that piece in i'm on the ground i pulled the anchor off that tree got the rope ready to go and there it is it is a long pitch given it is two pitches in one but it is long so you can see up there the anchor and you can see the wet streak. Freaking stupid trying to go for it, but it's cracked so I know it protects well. I don't have to worry about taking any bad falls. It just, uh, it's gonna be slick, it's gonna be slippery, it's gonna be tough, but it's well protected, so I'll be safe. Here's a little trick. If you're gonna be jumaring with a sling, put a, I love my slip knots. Use them for everything. Put a slip knot on the end of the sling, snug it around your foot, 
Let's get that a little bit snugger. And it'll keep it from falling off. And then we are lower drew more. Pull back slightly on the trigger there. So it glides up. And I am backed up on a grigri. So I got two points. I got the lower center and the grigri. And I'm just gonna basically walk up this slab. Well, I think uh, conditions have actually gotten worse because it's dripping from the roof onto me. So, okay. We've made it back up. We drew marred up, cleaned the pitch, all that. Got my anchor built, got the rope flaked, back up knots, slip knots. Made sure to put the grigri on upside down this time. And I think conditions have gotten actually worse, actually. Uh, it's dripping from the roof. I don't think it was doing that when I was up here last, but oh well. Pretty well convinced I'm at the stand on the bolt to pull the roof. I'm going to try not to, but it's just so wet. Um, I don't know. My shoes are soaked all the way to my feet. My pants are soaked. It's coming down on me. So we'll give it a run. But I can put a cam in there so I can protect from the ledge pretty good. And once I pull over the lip, it's real nice and wet up there. It's supposed to stem. So it's going to be bad. It's going to be rough. I should have turned around, but I'm committed now. All right, here we go. Uh, it's like a stick clip in a sport route. There you go. All right, that's a solid piece. That's good. I, got, I think I'm too weighed down to do this. I might have to dump the helmet to even try it. I think the helmet's just going to be in the way. Crap. All right, well, I hope that captures something. I cannot wear the helmet in here, it's too tight. Oh, it's dripping in my face. God damn, the fanny pack too. I gotta dump everything. All right, there we go. We're a lot skinnier now. Oh, I just, the bolt's right there, I could just grab it. I'm gonna be soaking wet by the time this is done. I can't. It's, it's so wet. It is just raining. I'm getting even more water. I really want to get it. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to do that again. Oh. Okay. I think if I kept trying, I might get it, but... It's really high factor fall on the cam in the belay. I think I actually spun the bolt. I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna aid through that. Holy, holy cow. I'm pretty happy with that, but 
I don't want to take more risks than I need to. And that was a hard fall. And I said, maybe I was at the lip. I just had to pull it. Yeah, look at the bolt. I spun the bolt. Because it was facing down like this, now it's facing up. That was a really, really hard factor, high factor fall. So, that's why I got it backed up to this one, but I'm not gonna do that again. I don't wanna risk tearing the rope or, I don't know. That was cool. Oh yeah, whips are a scary lead rope solo. That was a hard catch. That was definitely a hard catch. I think I even said falling. <laughs> it's so hard not to say it. Okay. Let's uh, throw a sling in. We'll pull that lip. Oh, I can't, I'm actually impressed I got that far with how wet it is. It's, it is soaking wet in there. I don't know how well you could see it, but I was grabbing up there when I whipped. I was right here. I had fingers in here and I had fingers in there. I guess if I turned, I could have stood on that maybe to get me around. Oh well, if I can get one more cam in up there. Or maybe I take back over the lead here. I mean, I got a few cams in now. I got a pretty good hold, pretty good hold. How am I doing? Where's my knot? My backup that's down there. Shorten that a bit. Get another piece in. Yeah, I was like, maybe one to two moves from being in the clear. I guess that cam's good. I can't see it. I'm not a big fan. It looks good. Wet corner, really wet corner. Getting pumped, getting very pumped. That's good. Just smear on that wet wall. Oh. oh, hell yeah, good stance. Let's get some slack. There we go. We're in those point fours, so let's do a point five. If I can. Come on. Yay. Sure. There we go. And Let's go ahead and put us a 
the slip knot on. Make sure we don't back feed while I'm standing. I got two hands available to do this easily. There we go. All right, sweet. Really glad. Really glad I decided to do this pitch. This is amazing. I'm gonna shorten that up a bit. I've got a lot of slack out. There we go. Slippy, slippy, slippy feet. <sighs> Don't slip feet. I know the wall's wet. Don't slip. myself out placing so many pieces of pro oh no 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 come on I'm getting pumped get very pumped there's a foot even if it's wet still better than just smearing Ooh. Point three. Give me the 7.5. Five. I know this next move's easy, but this pitch is short. I think that's the finish actually of this pitch right up there. And I'm gonna go ahead and protect. Let's get another slip knot in. There we go. It's so wet. Oh, even in the dry run up, I'll come back and try that roof again. Unless I have it dialed with a partner. I don't want to fall on the anchor like that again. Is this just a block? Sitting up here now, I guess it's just a crack right there. So, I guess that's safe. Let's throw a cam behind. Look at all the water. Let's see if we can get to the end of this pitch before the battery dies. Is this gonna be a layback? Is this gonna be a goddamn layback again? Well, hand up there, I guess. Actually, there's a little engine right there. Oh, the beautiful, beautiful engine right here. I don't know, get back in there. I need to start moving before I get pumped again. to give it that short rope's coming short rope's coming there it is I can always feel it snug enough it's so much harder to put slack in the system once you short rope yourself so much better to catch it before it happens that's the top 
Oh, it's so short. What are you doing, Rope? Come on. Don't do this to me now. You know what? I could honestly I'm worried about the rope going in that crack and getting stuck. Let's get it over there. Let's get it around the rock. Keep it from feeding through the crack. Because there are knots in it so it can get stuck. I'm so soaking wet. I am like completely soaked. So, there's one more pitch. I guess it's this one I could do. I might go ahead and pull the rope up here. Make sure it's gonna feed and not get stuck. If I'm gonna do this last pitch, cause I feel it getting trapped on shit. I don't want it to get stuck on me halfway up and I'll be in some bad position. I don't know what the pros like. Okay, got the rope reflect up here. Got this piece in. I bounce tested it some. Seems to hold. Cause I don't really have another piece until back there. Well, I took too long again and my camera died, but this time I got it on charge in my pouch. So, don't think you're gonna miss much. It's supposed to be five, seven climbing to the top. Uh, first move off the ledge was a little hard, especially everything being wet. But uh, now that I'm off the initial first few moves, it looks pretty chill. And I got some pro in, so I'm gonna run it up to the trees. Yeah, here's the run up to the trees, it's supposed to be five, seven. It's wet and it's mossy, but it's pretty low angle and pretty ledgy. So we should be fine. I don't know how much battery's left on this, but I got some charge on it. I am nearly at the top. I am moving slow, having to squeeze out every last little bit of friction I can on this wet, mossy face and these awful shoes. I don't know. I like them, but the rubber is definitely not the best. They're just a good, comfortable, all day trad shoe for easy stuff. There we go. I'm getting cold. <sighs> I just don't want to trust the shoes. I don't want to trust the smears. Oh, there's a hold. And I'm like, I'm really out of cams. I got a three and a one. <laughs> That's all I got left. Got a smear, got a smear. Trust the smears. Trust the smears. Trust, trust, trust. Don't like to trust them. Don't like to trust them. Oh, I really don't like trusting them. Can I get a one in there? Just make me feel good. I'm so mentally fried from trusting these awful feet. I know the top's right there, but I want something. Just. Don't want to fall and have to do those moves again. There's no aiding through that stuff. You just got to do it again. Just dig your fingers into the dirt. Smear on moss. Oh God, foot blue. Yay, I'm at the trees. Oh God, something I can wrap off of. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Stop it. Let me get up here and relax. 
here real quick. So yeah. Oh no, the battery's low. Look, it's my buddy Armand. Go check out his channel. What's your channel? Uh, Armand Latticer. Armand Latticer. <laughs> He's giving me bait on how to get down. I was gonna do the the wrap, but I'm too cold and wet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the hikers. But, all right, buddy. Appreciate all the right. help. Yeah, I'll see you. See ya. Oh my god. All right. So we just talked to our buddy Armand. He gave us some beta. I could have gone up that last little bit right there. Even hike around. There's two bolts there for Safari Jive. And there's a way to wrap it down to nuclear, I think. And like kind of jump around on climbs to be able to get off of this thing with a single 70. But I'm soaking wet. I'm cold. I'm shivering actually. So I don't want to get stuck on the wall wet like this with a single rope. So I'm just going to take the the hikers trail down, it'll probably warm me up too. I'll get my fleece as soon as I clean this pit. I'm fixing the rope right now around this tree. Oh, there's the rope. I'm fixing the rope around this tree. I'll go down, I'll clean the pitch, I'll get my fleece on, that'll help me warm up. I got a headlamp and then we're just gonna take the, uh, we're just gonna hike down. I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk it. I hope you can, you can see this right here. This water. Just everything soaked. I got my fleece on. I feel so much better already. I mean, it was like instant. Threw that thing on instantly. Within seconds, started feeling a lot, a lot better. Because I was so cold. So cold. But let's get this thing clean. Let's get the hell off this. I, don't know. I think I'll be down before the sun sets. If not, I got a headlamp. I do wish I'd brought my approach shoes I will be hiking off I don't know where the gully is but he said there's a trail I'll be hiking off in my uh, climbing shoes that's always fun so I'm sorry guys I wish I had a wrench I'd tighten that back down if someone comes here to climb the womb please bring a wrench whatever size I guess 9 16 possibly tighten that back down because that's the one I whipped on, and that it spun it lefty-loosey when I fell. All right. Going back up. Oh, yeah. All right, so I got the pitch clean. I got all the gear up here. I feel a lot warmer with my fleece on. It's cold today. I expect it to be in the sun. I don't know why. I'm on the north side. The north side's known for being shady. Um, so there are supposed to be some wrap rings up there off of safari jive you take those down to nuclear and you can get down with a single 70 i think the book doesn't show all the bolts but i was told online there are bolts you can get down with a single 70 just barely but um it's really tempting to go for it now that i'm warmed up a bit but i kind of think i might just take the trail and play it safe especially since i'm by myself and Feel like you always got to take trail at least once. I've... Well, I can finally say I've done the gully descent. I got off trail at some point. And I slid down most of that on my ass, but whatever. There's the route, the wall, the womb, and the bag's just over there. So I got like 100 feet to go. Woo well, if you like that, do me a favor, give me a subscribe. I'm at 800, just a little bit over 800 subs right now. I'm getting real close to 1,000. That's my goal. And um, I don't get to do too much lead rope soloing. When I do, I try to make it worthwhile, make it interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next one.